Hello, hello. We've been out for two and a half years and I guess we're back. Two and a half year update coming at ya. It's been a long two and a half years. So, and it's been <laughs> about six months since we released a video. So we wanted to do a quick update and uh, answer But you know, some we're questions. still here traveling. Yeah, we really haven't stopped. So we've been a lot of places. And, uh, and there's That's our loud, the loud air conditioner. There's the loud air conditioner, so we can't turn it off because we're in Arizona. So we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> we'll talk loud. <laughs> Two and a half years. So we have a few questions that we get asked a lot. We thought you guys might want to know as well. So one of the biggest questions we get asked is What is the biggest question we get asked? How long are you gonna keep doing this? <laughs> We do get that one a lot. So when are you guys going to stop? <laughs> well, and we started thinking actually a lot that just when we've been talking about recording again. So when we started traveling full time, our whole reason, our whole purpose was here we were, we had just got this bigger house with more garages, we bought a boat, we had three cars, we were, we just had all this stuff, right? You had the basement full of like toys and who knows what, junk. <laughs> Right. Lots of junk. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff and we decided that we just wanted to simplify things and we wanted to just get, you know, back to what was most important to us, which for us it was family, our relationship with each other, our relationship mm -hmm. with God, and we just wanted to kind of simplify things and we're both adventurous, so we wanted an adventure. And we were we have property that we wanted to build that we were eventually going to build on, and so we were like, well, let's just go do this for a year. When we started, and we had a two-month-old. If you oh. haven't listened to any of our other YouTube videos, so we had a two-month-old, and we were like, let's do it. And within 28 days, we we're on the road. But so that question is kind of what we were thinking. So have we accomplished what we set out to do? <laughs> What are you saving? I would say in a lot of ways, yes, but whether you're traveling, doing what we're doing, it really doesn't matter or really make it any easier, really. I think it's all priorities. <laughs> it's yeah. all what you really want. So. Yeah, I think we figured that out quickly on the road that we could have made things even harder because all of a sudden I had to homeschool my kids, which I wasn't doing yep. before. All of a sudden we we always had a really strict gym routine and now we're on the road and it was a little harder to go to the gym at first. We had to figure all those things out. Yep, yeah. you're constantly trying to plan where you're going to go, where you're going to park things. I mean, there's, yeah, I mean, there's just, there's always a reason why you can or cannot do something. So to think that jumping in and traveling around is going to make certain aspects of your life easier. Maybe some things will be, but something else will end up being more complicated. So everything is a discipline and you'll accomplish what you want. Yeah, we actually did another... Whether you want to or... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> yeah, we actually did another um, YouTube video on this. So if you guys mm -hmm. haven't seen that one yet, you can go back and watch just, just getting disciplined on the road because that is, that I think is, we have a lot of good tips in that one on what we've done to kind of figure those things out. But definitely, so I would say yes, that we have accomplished. I mean, I feel like our family is definitely closer than it, it has well, we, been. Yeah, we play a lot together and there's constantly something to do, which is pretty cool. You don't get bored because there's constantly something to do. <laughs> yeah, well, I think when we lived in a house more, I don't, I mean, I think you do spend a lot of time with like electronics or because there, I mean, you don't, you're not in this new place to go explore and to see the new things. And so I think we spend a lot more time with everyone on their own individual electronic device doing mm -hmm. different things. And so definitely I think that has been good. Our kids are go, we're in here. And why are they in. going in and out? They're going in and out of the house. <laughs> Traveling with kids. I know, right? Yeah. Are you guys good? <laughs> we'll check it out. We're not sure why they're going in and out, but <laughs> they're alive, so we're good. They're back in the house. Um, the next thing that we um, we thought we would, should talk about is, oh, would you still recommend traveling? We have a lot of people asking us, would you recommend traveling with COVID-19 or with what's been going on with COVID and things like that? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't think it's any different, personally. I mean, some things... I mean, some states are a little more strict than others, 
Um, obviously at first it was everyone was really strict but right now at least you know for example New Mexico might be really strict on mask, masks and Arizona doesn't really seem to care too much um, I don't know everyone's every state's different and it doesn't but truly, really too, if us. you want to go, like, I think the other thing, because when they, when we first, when COVID first hit, they shut down, like, the national parks and stuff, and that was kind of a big deal, but now they're all yeah. open up, and, I mean, they were really only closed for a minute. Yeah, there's less people traveling, actually, a than A lot of the Canadians before. haven't been able to come down, for example, and so some of the parks are less full. Um, so, in some, I don't know, it, it hasn't really made it harder or... I don't know. It hasn't. I wouldn't say it's a reason to not do it. Personally. No, and and also I think it actually. I mean, as far as like avoiding COVID, I think it's actually yeah, an easier lifestyle because when you have your house with you, like when we pull over to use the restroom. I mean, traveling anyways. I mean, most of the time, if you don't have an RV and you're traveling, you're gonna go into lots of gas stations public and restrooms. restaurants and mm -hmm. public restrooms where. We just pull over and use our own house, you know, our own bathroom, and yep. like, same with cooking. Like we can always cook anywhere we're traveling because we have our whole kitchen <laughs> yeah, and everything. Yeah, and we're not necessarily always around a bunch of people because we don't know a lot of people usually where we're at. So. <laughs> well, and even when we are with other people, when we do hook up with other families, we are outside. All of our activities yeah. are outside, <laughs> so you're not really in a close quarters with people. Yeah, you don't hang out in the trailer necessarily. You're always going to <laughs> yeah. do something. So. In some yeah. ways maybe we're better protected <laughs> or safer. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think with COVID there so. and then but yeah, so I think that for sure I would recommend for someone to still leave and travel during COVID cuz mm -hmm. especially yeah, I mean I, I think especially because if you right now you can't travel, it's harder to travel outside of the US. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's actually a great time to yeah. explore the states around us. But yep. Um, In fact, we were at this campground that we're at right now when it very first started. Oh, when so COVID it's hit. Kind of funny, huh? Yeah, yeah. We, I remember actually we went to the gym, and after the gym we went to the grocery store, and we were like, "There's no <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> There's Why no is paper everyone towels. Buying everything? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone looking <laughs> at each other's full carts and like you know <laughs> getting mad at them for buying it, all the food?" <laughs> yeah, it definitely felt weird. I remember we were actually doing laundry. Too, and some guy yeah. coughed while he was um, in the laundry room and he's like, I'm so I'm not sick, I have allergies. And I yeah. just remember that feeling of like, like a, oh, what is like happening? Everyone thought they were in a zombie movie or something that, you know, everyone yeah. was, he was going to fall over and die and get everyone sick. I don't know. He was. Yeah, but I, <clears throat> I still feel like that to this day. I don't want to cough in public. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so not much has changed. It was just funny, the reaction. So. Yeah. So, um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, so is there anything looking back that you would have done different, that we would have done different? Mm, um, looking back two years ago, knowing that I we may know have not. I, I probably would have planned a little bit more. <laughs> we, we made the decision and had to, and had to buy everything and do everything so quickly um, because of our lease was ending. Um, but uh, I would have taken a little bit more time personally. Christy it doesn't really matter. She's like, that was a perfect amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we would have had more time, I'll tell you the truth about him. <laughs> he would still be researching the right rig to buy. <laughs> Two and a half years later, but man, I would know everything. <laughs> and we probably would never leave. <laughs> yeah, but the fun is in the research. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, but that, I mean, having said that, I still feel like we got the best rig for our family size. And if you haven't seen our video for the tour of our rig, it definitely is awesome for a family. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't mm -hmm. switch our rig. Um, no. I think the only thing we have, we bought thousand trails, like the, mm -hmm. the camping pass. Yeah, we bought the, like the we lifetime membership. We bought one membership. of the lifetime memberships and it was pretty expensive. Well, it was really expensive actually. You know, looking back on it, I probably would have either done a used membership where I could have got for a much cheaper, or I probably would have just done the camping pass, which is quite a bit cheaper. I mean, you don't get a lot of the benefits, but I'm finding over time that we don't really book out six months in advance, which is one of the reasons why you pay for the passes. And um, we don't go park to park that much. So we do occasionally, but it's hard to justify the cost. Um, I mean, it'd take a long time to catch up to that cost. 
by just doing the camping pass and then paying for campgrounds elsewhere. I yeah, if you don't know what Thousand yeah. Trails is, like, I mean, there's yeah, full, lots popular, of full-time full -time families, family. yeah, travel through the full, through the Thousand Trails, so that part's cool. That's the reason I would say for sure get one, but maybe don't buy the biggest package or the most expensive yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, if you live in Florida or maybe you're over 55 and you can take advantage of a lot of them, a lot more parks, because, I mean, for example, we're in Arizona and, like, there's, like, two in the entire state. That are that can have families uh, that, well maybe there's only one maybe no i think there's two but it, but and then in south texas i mean you're supposed to be over 55 so it's like uh, i don't know i don't know that i would have done that more expensive package um so yeah and i yeah i don't know about i definitely we definitely <clears throat> made our money back because even i mean when you're in florida if you if you <clears throat> go to florida for a whole winter you'll yeah. make your money back quick yeah, no I mean, matter if you how spend expensive. A lot of time, <laughs> if you spend a lot of time and you, maybe you don't move a lot, like you kind of spend your time in one certain area, yeah, you know, it could be super inexpensive and super, you know, worth it. But if you're in the center of the U.S. or you're spending a lot of the time around, you know, Utah, Arizona, Colorado, I mean, it's just not. There's not a lot of parks yeah, on the Thousand Trails. There's just nothing really to so. Yeah, and we did another YouTube channel where we talked more about Thousand Trails too. So if you guys are wanting to know more about that, you can mm -hmm. go back and check out that. Um, <clears throat> oh, this was one other thing that we would definitely have done different. We would have went to a rally sooner because we actually did our first rally last winter, and we were like, <laughs> "What? Why didn't we do this sooner?" Because oh, so one that we did want to talk about. So if you guys have, I mean, I know that we haven't been getting on and doing a lot of YouTube videos, but we do have a an Instagram. So if you want to go to the Sunday Family Adventures, I pretty much post every day on Instagram, if not every couple of days, mm -hmm. any like all the adventures that we go on. And so if you want to see actual places that we're going and see if you would want to go there or check it out, that's definitely the place to go. So it's the Sunday Family Adventures um, on Instagram. So yep. we have that there. And then we've also been thinking, we've had a, we were wondering if it would be helpful or if you would like us to, we, we could do like some kind of a webinar or something like that where we actually get on and, and answer any questions that you guys have about full-time travel or um, talk about how, how it, like what, what things we would do if we were going to leave again, things like that. So tell us if you would be interested in a webinar like that, we'd be happy to do that. And really anything that you would like to see us create or anything that you'd like to see more of or questions you have, pl please put them in the comments because we are here to serve you and to, to add value to your life. So let us know how we can best do that.